Hey, it's Jarba here. Can we do an opening and an explanation of what happened? Okay, so I recorded my sneak peek packs I took home for you guys just a moment ago. And what happened was I have a face cam and I got a camera that records the packs down here. I pushed the button to start recording my face and apparently I didn't push the button hard enough on the camera that records the actual pack. So all it was is recording my face. While I was opening the packs. So I have the empty packs because I caught at the very last pack after I opened them all that this one is not recorded and only this one was. So I am going to do a, a value cube opening and I'll show you the cards that I opened up for my, my Flames of Destruction booster packs. I ended up actually pulling pretty well and I was excited about it. So uh, hopefully this will uh, this will get me out of any trouble that I was in. Uh, I don't even know. I don't know how it happened. I've never had that happen before, but we're gonna make the best of it. Hope you guys enjoy this video. If you did, please drop a comment down below. Give this video a thumbs up, bell me, subscribe. And on that, let's get cracking again. <laughs> All right, so uh, Flames of Destruction sneak peek packs already pre-opened pre for you guys just to save, uh, save time. I will show all those cards uh, very shortly. It's gonna Open up this uh this nice little value cube here. I didn't even know what to <laughs> what to open. I was like, oh my gosh. Let me grab something. Yeah, these value cubes are super old OG ones. They came in a long time ago. I don't think they sell them anymore. And I, I held on to them for oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> wow. This has been in there for a long time. It came with an ultra rare number 11 big eye. And we got a super, and we got a platinum rare in it. Oh my gosh. Wow. Turning things around in a good way. Here we go. <laughs> All right. So we got our structure deck, our one token giant block of foam that uh, every opening needs. And then we have our. Uh, two booster packs okay put the value cube over there keep our block of foam over here because we need that for good luck i guess we will uh crack open this beautiful structure deck but yeah that was a uh, <laughs> i've never seen that before oh my gosh i was so embarrassed i was like oh are you serious those, you'll see the packs actually pulled pretty dang good i was like no way oh that sucks but you know I don't want to just like discard it. So I wanted to explain to you guys what happened, even though no one would have known if I wouldn't have said anything. But I thought it was too funny to pass up afterwards. It's that embarrassing moment followed up with a bunch of laughs. So it ended up working out really well. And uh, like I said, the, the pulls were actually really good. So we'll go, uh, go through these sideways, get through them a little bit, a little quicker. Move over to those booster packs hopefully we get something super amazing i can't believe those foils get number 11 big eye that is amazing a couple of rush reckless leaves you got a uh, axe to spare Melva nuzzler looks like uh basically like an old school kind of type of control beat down deck which, which are actually kind of my favorite all right and get attacks our last card there put that over on our block giant block of foam so we have a uh, six of eternity and Hidden Arsenal 6. So, let's see what we get here. I wish they made this, put the Seeker as the, as the last foil. I'm going to have to figure out when I, whenever I open up the Hidden Arsenal, I always forget to like try to flip them around or something to make that epic reveal. All right, so uh, Secrets of Eternity. And then after this, we'll move onwards to our... Oh, nice! Ended up pulling a super rare out of here. Oh, and it's first edition, too. Right on. Dang. <laughs> this turned out to be, like... Uh, I don't know. Like, a bad thing turned into, like, a really, really good thing. I really enjoyed that. That's really cool. I just uh, I have uh, some sealed product here that I that I keep, obviously, to do openings for you guys. And uh, just grabbed a random value cube, so I had an opening, and then I can explain what happened. And uh, I love doing openings for you guys, so I didn't want to just give you guys a video without that part. So, uh, yeah, let me get to the me revealing my, my packs that I 
ended up pulling and go through. Um, I don't I don't know if people care about ratios on the commons and rares, but we'll go through all the commons and rares here and uh, show you guys. So I'm not exactly sure if they ended up short printing any of the commons and or rares in this set. I know there's a few chase foils. And of course, I'm sure there's a lot of particulars that people want for their specific decks that they are playing. I didn't just pull commons and rares. I put all the, I had all the foils, you know, how I do it like that. It, well, I, I just put them in the back here of the pile. So hopefully. You guys will enjoy my, uh, the foils that we ended up pulling. So I ended up pulling the one that's super rare. We ended up pulling a secret rare, a secret rare out of the five packs. And over a secret, everybody but like two people pulled a secret. So it's nuts. Pulled a secret, ended up pulling an ultra rare. And we pulled two super rares, plus we got our one promo card. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Please forgive me for not actually showing you the pack opening because it was dope. There's just a face cam. So, uh, but yeah, turned this thing around. Ended up getting some actually some really epic hollows out of here. I cannot believe we got the number 11 big guy. We pulled a super rare too, which is really cool. So uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Uh, yeah, until next time, thank you guys again. Drop a comment down below, give this video a thumbs up, support the old jobber, and uh, subscribe bell me. And on that, jobber here is signing out. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. E ora un po' di studio. Little star. How I, how, 
how, how, how I 